First Updates Now videos are brought to you by Stryker. Discover why so many FIRST alumni and mentors are putting Stryker first when it comes to their careers, internships, and co-ops. Visit careers.stryker.com forward slash first to learn more. So what are you guys' thoughts? Um, I think we might do a show, maybe, maybe, later this season in the off season before next season, but um, about our first season with no bag day. Um, Justin, Christine, I mean, recap our, our residents here. Who are what do you mean? Big day's back already. You can't touch the robots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what do you, what are your two thoughts on how, how it went this year? Uh, Justin, just from our, yeah. I was going to say, you can go first since you actually like were focused on the robot. Good. Yeah. So it's been, it was, it was absolutely phenomenal. Um, you know, we still, we didn't change too much. You know, we still met very, very frequently. Um, but it just, it just, removed a lot of pressure like if it, it, you know a lot us to iterate it allowed us to build faster you know i think i made a post on this on chief delphi but um we kind of felt like with the bag day in the 30 pound withholding alliance after you really had to kind of be a little bit slower methodic with your cad make sure that when it was built it was functional because you really just didn't have enough time or enough weight through the withholding allowance to really recover from any bad mistakes but without that you could kind of build a little bit more freely try stuff that you know you weren't really sure if it was going to work or not it just ended up being like a, a lot uh healthier um season from the standpoint of it doesn't have to be perfect lowers the stress just build it try it test it and you know that's going to be our our methodology throughout the entire season and just it was it was great you know our 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 autonomous modes were you know if we if we had an opportunity to compete our autonomous modes were the best they've ever been our driver uh practice was phenomenal you know the confidence of of practicing with the competition robot you know just a couple days or or hours before load in um at your event was super nice there was just there was no drawbacks um that i saw and i posted this on chief delphi but i can can't tell you how many threads um and comments from from people i read that you know teams were claiming and it's sometimes a little easier to claim when you don't actually compete but uh teams claimed that it was the best robot they'd ever built and mm. i think that's a direct result of of uh no bag day it's time to majorly sell out let's do it guys with a huge striker ad coming in no guys striker uh awesome company if you had an opportunity striker striker strike we just say it like 20 times right and then we get all of them done and that's the way we go. But, uh, guys, uh, once again, lots of downtime. If you're looking for internships, co-ops, uh, careers, even if you're just starting, if you're starting to graduate college, or if you're looking for a great new career out there, there is one out there for you. Uh, currently, just in Kalamazoo itself, 52 jobs available, but they have careers all around the world. Uh, Striker, uh, as mentioned before, Nick Jr. and I got the tour of their facility, uh, and wow, what an incredible place. State-of-the-art technology, state-of-the-art equipment. They treat their employees like gold, and they will support you for being in first. So if you're interested in uh, learning more about how you can work for a company that truly says, hey, guys, you're in first. We love that. We want you to go to first competitions. We want you to mentor. We want you to volunteer, and we'll support you doing it as an employer. Go check out careers.stryker.com forward slash first. Yeah. I don't know. I, I – didn't feel like it was much different than any other season except for the whole like when we met after the six weeks was up um we weren't necessarily working on like our proto robot we were working on the actual one so it let it it definitely let our mechanical team iterate like the entire robot a lot easier rather than different subsystems that we were able to leave off of the robot before we threw it in the bag before our first event mm -hmm. um we kind of went through the same process, I guess, in terms of like prototyping first and then uh, focused on like prototyping that was really successful and making it functional. Um, and then we were able to really tweak a lot on the competition bot. Like our team does a ton in CAD, which was really cool to see when I joined the team, I don't know, like five or six years ago. Because a lot of teams that I had worked with previously didn't necessarily focus on the like kind of digital or like not physical robot aspect of the design part. So being able to focus both on like pushing the design in CAD and then actually continue to work on it in person, like on the competition robot, rather than like making some really ridiculous, like elaborate plan on how we were going to implement it in the very short amount of time that we had either at the event, if it were a regional or before the event, if it were a district, and then hope that we were able to test it, program it like on site, um, 
it used to be really stressful, but being able to do that in person was great. Obviously, we didn't get to compete, um, which kind of sucks, but we were ready to compete for kind both of. events. So, yeah. I don't know. It was yeah. definitely weird. It didn't feel as different as I thought it would. I was really hoping to actually like have downtime to get a vacation during my February break, but that's a joke, so but no. that didn't happen. <laughs> But now we have like mega forever vacation. But I think it, it gave students and mentors a a better opportunity to really focus on like what you were putting on the field and making it the best version of what it could be rather than spending so much time on like planning to implement in the short amount of time that you had uh, one way or another, if that makes sense. Yeah, and chat, we'd love to hear what you think as well, too. So let us know how, uh, how you felt about it. I know uh, Sky posted in chat that the biggest loss is the ability to say a six-week design challenge when describing FRC to someone out of the loop. I mean, I don't know. You can still say that, right? Like, if they're out of the loop, oh, they don't yeah. know any better anyway. So. <laughs> but it really wasn't a six-week design it challenge. It never has so. been, I mean, it, right? So. No, yeah, it's, exactly. It's, yeah. You could say it was because it kind of was, but it wasn't for, like, 95% of the team. So, um yeah, I mean, yeah, you do lose that ability. I mean, you could still say, like, you know, I guess it depends on your area, yeah. you know, from until your first event. But yeah. I, I'm, I'm guessing still, Sky's point is, is that it doesn't matter. I'm not sure. I'm not. I can't speak for him in that, but I'm guessing right. he's just that's like, oh, who cares? Losing, yeah, then, right, you're right. If that's the only thing you're losing, then yeah. that's nothing. So, um, yeah, I, I was talking with Matt Coffey, the coach from 1114 this week, and he had some interesting um, things um, that went on with his team. So that's why I thought maybe it'd be an interesting an interesting show or part of a show, you know, that later in the week we can line up some good guests. So mm -hmm. uh, there's definitely an interesting topic and thanks for um, your two input, Justin and Christine. So I just want to ask a question because I believe um, if I count them all right, we have five, at least so far, five swerve drive teams that are in the top 25. Um, what are your thoughts on, I just feel like this is more so than in past years. Do you, do we, are we, maybe it should be this to the no bag day where teams are, I mean, a lot of these six team, 16, um, 29, 10, 27, I think 27, 67, as I've heard before. I mean, it's not new for some of these teams, but do you think some teams are, you know, trying it out or more willing to go there or more time to tweak it? Or what are you guys thoughts? I mean, I think it's in part because so many teams are making what they've worked on available and there's Bingo. so many, you know, small companies like, you know, West Coast Products and mm -hmm. other people that are making this, like, thing that was so unattainable for a long time. Like, you had to design your own Swerve modules and then, like, really figure out the yeah. programming where where people are sharing ideas and making things more open. It's allowing teams that wouldn't necessarily be able to start from scratch with it to, to jump in and kind of implement it in their own way. So, yeah. And then the second, I guess the second part of that question is, are we, would we think this game would have so many sort of drive teams? Um, are we, are you just kind of maybe surprised that we've seen this many in this game? Did you think this game, like looking at it ahead of time, it was a good game for Swerve or what do you think? So I actually thought with the, um, uh, with the, I don't know what to call it. We always call it the bumps. Uh, the uh, rendezvous, rendezvous zone, point. Yeah. yeah, would really be a, a turnoff for a lot of teams. Um, or if teams did go swerve, they would certainly avoid that area with all costs. And that just turned out to be flat wrong. Um, I see multiple teams with swerve, you know, attacking the rendezvous zone, um, really with no real uh, fear. You know, our robot, we went uh, pneumatic wheels because we were so, like, nervous and concerned about hitting the bumps over and over and over again and a swerve drive just seems a little even more delicate than you know a traditional maybe west coast drive but teams are doing it teams are pulling it off and i just want to echo what christine said it's 100 percent because teams are willing mm -hmm. to put their cad online like i downloaded you know we talked about just trying to keep our kids active and 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 hungry when we get the opportunity because we're not really sure when we can compete or even meet again but you know building a swerve drive and kind of converting our practice spot to swerve just so you know we can kind of gain some experience and try that out mm -hmm. and you know i was able to download uh 2910's robot and look at their cad they put their code out there you know they really do make it uh really really easy to um to take a shot at it and definitely kudos to teams that are willing to do that yeah very cool well yeah thanks for your input that was uh that was definitely cool thanks for watching if you want more fun content be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos you can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now.
Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch, keeping fun loud, live, and independent. 